with an estimated population of over 182 million, Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa and the seventh most populous in the world. The country is also the tenth largest oil producer in the world and the eighth largest exporter of crude oil. But sadly, poverty still remains a major challenge facing many Nigerians. Despite being the biggest oil exporter in Africa, agriculture, mostly subsistence farming, remains the backbone of Nigeria's economy and the vast majority of Nigeria's poor, especially those in the rural areas, depend on farming for survival. However, lack of road access, made worse by deteriorated infrastructure, remains a key cause of rural poverty and low agricultural productivity. In southeast Nigeria, Enugu State, well known for its rich agricultural potential, has in recent times suffered severe floods caused by environmental degradation, blocking of drainage channels and encroachment of river boundaries and natural waterways. During the rainy season, many rural communities have significantly reduced road access, bringing their economy and livelihood to a near halt. You know, without road, no business moves. And our business is farming, fishing. We harvest by November, but we cannot carry it out till January. No road. Take, for instance, by last year, some, some people in this community lost about 100 bags of rice, just decay, no road to carry it out. Because imagine now, you are here, you have no food, you have no access to go and bring that food out. You are sick, you have no access to go and buy medicine, you have no access to go to the hospital. You have a child, you want to train your child, no road for the, to the child to go to school. We are just like people in the cage. We have a lot of challenges about this road. It is impossible when it is raining. You find out that school children, when they are, coming, they are coming back, all the parents are always afraid because of the flood that is uh, passing through this village. Two years ago, uh, people got out to rescue a young man who uh, was carried by a flood. So that's why we, we have been beckoning on the state government to come to our rescue, to build this road and put gutters so that the rain, the rain, if rain comes, we cannot have that kind of experience again. In the marketplace, many women who depend on the sale of agricultural produce for survival are also affected by the current lack of all-weather rural roads, which severely constrains their access to economic opportunities. Even all these things have from our weight. on the roads, no way to come. not so, on a In order to tackle the multiple challenges of rural access, the Nigerian government, with support from the World Bank and the Africa Development Bank, is initiating a rural access and mobility project, Ramp 2 with the objective of improving transport conditions and bringing sustained access to the rural population. And one of the first beneficiary states is Enugu. Ramp 2 in Enugu is expected to deliver a total of 500 kilometers of both rehabilitated and newly built roads over a period of five years. However, the first phase will be executed over 18 months with the delivery of 143.435 kilometers across 10 local government areas of the state. This is uh, Neikembu, Obodaba, Oboletich Road. This road is very important because it connected many communities, schools, churches, markets, and hospitals. We are going to upgrade it 
or progenitors in the sense that we are going to provide light drains. Especially we can see at these entrances and other places how erosion is being affecting all these places. You can see a chasm here. This place is being eroded. There's already a deep cut. If you can jump down there, you will see that it's now a hole. So if ram comes in, all this should be corrected. We are in Eme River. That's the valley we are in now. 15 to 20 villages are using this road as their access road. So it's serving the interiors of the communities. Everybody coming from his village or town is meeting this road. And this is the only road that connects them. So ramp is going to maintain the bridge because it's in a stability state. So we're going to affect the, the plates, the size, and maybe not, and painting. Based on a combination of selection criteria, including the population of the communities living along the links, agricultural production, environmentally sensitive areas, markets and community preferences, as well as connection to health and education facilities, a total of 11 roads were selected and divided into four lots. Lot 1 will see the rehabilitation of four roads with a combined length of 36.39 kilometers. Lot 2 will see the rehabilitation of three with a combined length of 40.018 kilometers. Lot 3 will see the rehabilitation of one long stretch of 25.38 km road that spans across several communities and two local governments, while Lot 4, which has the longest combined road span of 41.665 km, will see the rehabilitation of three roads across two local government areas. The direct beneficiaries of this project are the population of poor rural communities living alongside the roads who rely almost exclusively on agriculture and livestock for their subsistence. And it is hoped that achieving this project will significantly increase the economic power of these communities and improve the quality of life of the indigents.